What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we got the face cam. Bit of a new setup, hope you like it. I'm gonna pilot it for this video, and if I get some positive reactions in the comments, maybe I'll keep it going with the face cam. Uh, hopefully my hair looks all right. I haven't done a face cam in so long, honestly, but got some new equipment, and I think it will make for some, some cooler videos having this, this type of setup. Doing a live attack today, Town Hall 13, this is going to be a dragon plan. Thought about using the zaps. I'm not going to. We'll talk about why. Let's take a look at the base here and work through my plan. Then we'll attack it live. But like I said, things might be a little spotty in audio, video, just face cam. The entire thing's a bit of a new setup that I'm going to learn from. So let me know what you think in the comments, any changes you want to see. And I'll, uh, I'll take heed of that as I rework things for next week. Um, hope all of you Americans have a good 4th of July out there. Um, stay safe, and um, this base will not be staying safe, though. Here's the plan. Um, I am going to drop my Ice Golem, King, and Royal Champion right in this area. Uh, the idea is to get that air defense down and to have my Royal Champion go in there, get the Inferno Tower with the help of maybe a freeze spell at some point. Um, also the defensive royal champion just get that little area cleared out same thing on the other side uh, giant Some goblins for that gold storage. I'm too cheap to buy the super goblins uh, not worth it for this type of war so just some regular goblins there with a giant and I'm gonna drop uh, an ice golem next I don't want to drop the ice golem too soon because it'll just die right away to that um, high-level queen there and all that DPS so I'm gonna drop the giant the goblins, the, uh, then the ice golem, and then the queen. Move in, get the same type of value, hopefully. The defensive queen, the uh, air defense. Then just going to send in the dragons here from uh, 9 o'clock. And um, I thought about starting off with some zaps for the uh, air defenses. But when I thought about it, you know, if I can use freezes instead, the freeze takes up the same amount of space. Instead of using three lightning spells in each of these uh, air defenses, uh, a freeze can freeze uh, the scatter shot, the expo, and the air defense. And if I have, you know, maybe four freezes at my disposal, I can get much more value, in my opinion, than with the lightning spell. Uh, as you might have noticed, the single inferno won't go down to anything, so I'm going to try to slip in my uh, sl stone slammer, that's the word, uh, slip in my slammer there, have it kind of make its way through and support from the top there. To, uh, to help out those dragons, but try to, excuse me, save the Warden's ability for the Town Hall. Hope everything goes okay. If you back end loons, maybe, to get that single on the back end. Just see how things go. Um, make sure I have all the correct troops. Four rages, five freezes. I think I'll, you know, be raging pretty early and often through the base here. Uh, might even do side-by-side -side rages um, over the eagle. We'll see how spread out things that, uh, everything is. Um, but otherwise, looks like all my troops are in order. My heroes are not maxed because of that new update, so we'll got to work on that still. Um, let's give it a try. Okay. Start off with the bottom part here first. Um, yeah, we'll start off with the bottom part first. We will do... Ice Golem, King, uh, a minion there. Hit that King's ability early. Royal Champion. There we go, looking good. Hit that Royal Champ's ability early. Up here, Giant, Goblins, Ice Queen. King is still alive, that's a surprise. Look at that king getting some good value. Queen also getting good value, so that's all good. Um, let those dragons work. Lots of air traps over there, that's okay. Everything moving through nicely. 
That next rage down. Slammer. Another rage. Freeze those. Warden's ability. Hopefully that was decent timing on the warden there. Freeze, freeze, rage. We will see. I'm not sure I have enough juice to get through the back end of the base here. Um, E-Dragon in the CC is actually doing some work on me, surprisingly. Um, get a freeze there for that one balloon, I guess. Maybe should have waited. Got a bigger group of balloons coming from the, uh, from the clan castle. Yeah, this one's not going to quite triple, unfortunately. Um, was hoping to get one for you guys, but, you know... I think by virtue of having tripled on my last live attack, I was on a bit of a cooldown, as you can see. Decent percentage, um, you know, some of these uh, Clan War League wars are a bit of a throwaway. Um, we're warring out of One Hive Trinity, I think we're in like Crystal or something, so we're, we get kind of weird wars, but the bases are not always bad. This was a, you know, okay base. Um, Gonna have to rethink that. Typically, the uh, the dragons pair best with bat spells or when you can get good value um, with the zaps. Let me know in the comments if there was a better way to um, to take out this base using maybe the lightning spells because uh, I've seen a lot of attacks using them. Didn't see how to do it on this base, but maybe I just don't quite have the eye for it yet. So um, let me know if you guys saw anything for this base. Go ahead and end the attack here and take a look at the replay real quick. I thought everything went decently, just kind of petered out on the back end there. Um, so we will uh, see what happened. Go ahead and uh, go times two for this replay and just kind of see with a bird's eye view um, the situation here. So good value. I mean, the king stayed up for a long time. I was surprised. Um, went ahead and used the royal champion's ability a little earlier just because I was afraid the single inferno might take her out if I waited too long. Didn't want to waste a freeze there. Um, so she got good value, the king got good value, queen also did her job. So everything was uh, up to my expectations at the beginning of the attack. And I think the dragons, you know, went through decently. They hit <clears throat> a couple traps here which I should have dropped balloons a little earlier to soak up those seeking air mines. Um, that was definitely something I would like to take back. But for the most part, everything moved through. Right around here might have, might have been the place where, well, I think I had a good Warden's ability. Let me go a little slower here. Uh, the freezes were okay. Maybe this is the situation where the lightning spells would have been nice on those air defenses. Um, you can make the argument that that was the, the better thing to do there. But um, three lightning spells is still a big investment for each of those air defenses, and you can't really get the... Um, Scatter shot or the expo taken out. They have too many hit points uh, for that amount of lightning spells. The actual the E Dragon CC was not, <laughs> you know, is, you say what you will about it. A lot of clans, uh, kind of the lower levels, use it. It can be a little tricky sometimes. Not gonna lie. Um, so that was not helpful to run into that at the back end. But um, you know, maybe should have used those free spells as bat spells. I could have used a couple ice golems to tank these wizard towers. Um, you know, lots of different options there. Let me know what you think in the comments below in the terms of this attack as well as this setup if I should continue with it. And uh, I will be watching. Like I said, happy 4th to the Americans out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game. And keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.